In episode 4 of, The Strongest Magician in the Demon Lord's Army was a Human, Sefiro reveals that Bastio, the head of the Third Corps, is a traitor and accuses him of planning to kill her and her vice commander along with Dairoku Ten. Dairoku Ten asks for Bastio's side of the story, and Bastio counters by accusing Sefiro and her vice commander of murdering their own vice commander to frame him and take over the Third Corps. To resolve the matter, Dairoku Ten decides on a duel between the two commanders using magical creatures called puppets. Each commander will command 50 puppets, and the winner will be determined by who can wipe out all of the enemy's puppets. The loser will die on the spot. Seifiro appoints Ike, a skilled commander, as her stand-in for the duel. Ike is initially reluctant, feeling the heavy burden of being entrusted with Seifiro's life. He decides to focus on finding a way to win the duel. Ike and Jerome examine the puppets and their weapons, noting that the puppets follow their commander's orders exactly and are all equal in strength, making the duel a true test of command abilities. Jerome marvels at the demon lord's generosity in allowing them to use the puppet's weapons as they like. Ike consults Sati, asking her how she would fight in a hypothetical situation. Sati suggests using a broom but agrees that a weapon that allows for long-range attacks is ideal. Ike considers swords, spears, and bows, but ultimately decides that something more powerful and unknown to the opponent is needed. He reveals that he can make guns, which are more powerful and have a longer range than crossbows, allowing one to attack from hundreds of meters away. Ike talks to Seifiro, who he believes can create anything. Seifiro explains she cannot make something unseen. Ike describes a gun as an iron cylinder containing gunpowder that fires a bullet and asks Seifiro to make it. Seifiro initially refuses, but Ike is determined. Meanwhile, rumors spread that Ike is joining the battle, and Bastio, confident in her strength, wonders if Seifiro is scared. Bastio possesses a sword made from the fangs of a black dragon, capable of cutting anything. As preparations continue, the demon lord appears and surprises Ike by revealing that she has already prepared guns for him. She explains that Romberg told her about Ike and that she knows he is human. The demon lord needs people to fight for her to realize her wish of building a new world in this land. Ike agrees to help her. On the day of the duel, Bastio appears confident, boasting about her Damascus steel weaponry, which cannot be penetrated by spears or arrows. The battle begins, and Bastio's puppets attack Ike's shields. Initially defensive, Ike then uses the guns, surprising Bastio as his puppets are destroyed and he is defeated. The demon lord appears and gives Bastio a choice, kill himself, die an honorable death, or be killed by the demon lord. Suddenly, one of Bastio's men fires an arrow at the demon lord, who successfully blocks it, but an explosion follows. Multiple explosions occur in the arena, and Bastio's army attacks everyone. Bastio then declares his intention to become the new demon lord amidst the chaos. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.